Salutations dear viewers, this is George from Ireland. I'm filming from Lancaster House, London. You can see it behind me. This glorious honey-coloured sandstone building, uh, which is uh, late 18th century, which belongs to the royal family. And perhaps the most uh, famous event that took place there was the Lancaster House Conference from September to December 1979. Margaret Thatcher had just become Prime Minister in May of that year and she's trying to bring the Zimbabwean conflict to an end. So she had the um, government of Rhodesia Zimbabwe come out here and yes the country really did have that double barrel name Rhodesia Zimbabwe at the time. Um, so that was a mixed race government. Um, Ian Smith was no longer Prime Minister of it. The, the um, Bishop Abel Muzarewa was and then he had, she also had the Patriotic Front come those are the two African nationalist organizations, uh, the, the political parties which are now um, ZANU uh, and then there was ZAPA as well, they, they formed the Patriotic Front. So negotiating between them and they thrashed out this agreement but it was touch and go whether it was going to happen at all. Robert Mugabe, who was the main um, leader of this uh, political movement and paramilitary movement to overthrow uh, white mastery, um, he was minded not to come. But he'd been living in, in, in uh, Mozambique and Samora Machel, the communist president of Mozambique, was adamant that he should come um, and felt that the conflict could be resolved peacefully. If not, there was a danger that the British and the Americans, they might recognize this government of, of, of Zimbabwe, Rhodesia. They might uh, lift sanctions, start trading, the economy would pick up, they'd be able to purchase arms, and therefore military victory would be much more difficult for Zanla and, and Zipra, which were the um, African nationalist armed organizations. Uh, moreover, some of the guerrillas had already accepted the new dispensation and felt the compromise offered by Ian Smith et al. was sufficient. Anyway, um, it was um, very difficult. Dula Bion Yema was here to, um, to uh, interview Robert Mugabe. And uh, right before the, thing, the deal was due to be signed in December 1979, Lord Nicholas Soames flew out to uh, um, Harare, then called Salisbury, to take over as governor. The country was to become a colony again for about uh, five months, a transitional period, before legal independence was granted. And Herbert Chitepo, um, one of the um, uh, ZANU guys, said that they weren't going to sign, they're going to walk out. Anyway, Lord Soames later said it was, it was petrifying going out, and he only had a few hundred soldiers in his command, British, Kenyans and Australians, and wasn't sure the whole deal was, was going to hold at all. But anyway, um, the deal was signed, people went back before Christmas, elections were held, and that, the rest is history. Um, anyway, Lord Carrington was the British Foreign and Commonwealth Secretary and he chaired the Lancaster House Conference. He's still alive at the age of 100, so he's the last surviving senior negotiator from those days. Joshua Nkomo and, um, let's see, Margaret Thatcher have been called to their award. Well, what am I talking about? Robert Mugabe is uh, alive, not quite hale and hearty. So that's Lancaster House, sadly not open to the public.